Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays Minecraft Pine Ridge. And we are at a start another day and let's have a look at what I've done since last time. First off, I created a sandstone floor. I thought that would be nice and appropriate. And I widened my walls. They were 7x7 seven seven on the outside before, now it's 9x9 nine nine, and I did that because my more successful lighthouse that I have done in the past was 9x9 nine nine, and I thought I should follow suit. Now the outside though I decided to make of granite and that's because I'm figuring water's coming up on here and all that stuff and the last thing you'd want is a soft base so therefore I put granite on the outside, sandstone, something nice on the inside. I still haven't gone very far on the walls as you can see but that's what we've got done so far. Now I did manage to collect resources and actually including some iron so now I have some iron tools here and one very important iron tool for me to get are some shears so that I can actually get some sheep without creating mutton at the same time I think that's all I need for now. I also got quite a bit of wood, some acacia, some oak, quite a bit of cobble, some glass here, some sandstone stairs, so all sorts of things that I can find useful in the end. Now, there is a new snapshot here that I am on in today, but it's just bug fixes, getting rid of some of those bugs that I didn't notice because I haven't reached them yet, so therefore, those are the best type of bugs, the ones that are fixed before you know that they're there. Alright, now let's see. Now I'm going to need a wooden shovel at this point, and you say, you wonder, why do I need a wooden... Actually, I, I better use oak for this particular thing. Let me get some oak. The reason why I want oak is because I, I'm going to need a great deal of acacia for this lighthouse, so I don't want to go and waste acacia. So therefore, I want to create an oak, a wooden pet. Now this one has to be a wooden shovel, not an iron shovel or anything like that. And that's because it is going to be part of a... I think this is what I need, and throw it. Or is it this? Yeah, there it is. Oh, an oak boat. Good. They changed the recipe slightly from the old from 1.8, where in 1.8 you didn't need a shovel to do it, but the ores are more important now. And I did quite a bit over on this end, so let us Okay, I Oops. Alright, let me oops, let me Turn the boat around. So not exactly used to this new style of boat. Alright, there we go. Alright. Okay, let's get off the boat. <laughs> there is a squid riding in my boat. Oh well. Well, I... <laughs> Broke both of them. All right. Now, anyway, this is the mine that I have been creating. So I have. I thought I created a mine. I must have have been having delusions or something. That's it. I've gone delusional already. All right. I was gathering quite a number of resources around here. I guess I had thought I created a mine here. Oops. But I was gathering sandstone. Oh, here it is. Yeah. No, that's where I was before. Oh, good grief. Ah, uh, oh, here's here's my mine. There it is. I thought I had a mine. Oh, that was just so I could create more pickaxes while I was up here. And this is where I found things like the usual stuff. Iron, of course, being the... Wait, I don't know why I left that to be so dark. 
But the idea there was to get as much blood as this. I have not tried to go down there. Maybe. The idea here is to go down here so I could go far enough so that I could start finding iron and and maybe some other resources. But now I won't be doing any mining today. I do that between episodes, but I'll probably be wanting to find some more iron. I have some. I still don't have enough for armor. As you can see, I still have no armor. And, ooh, shield. That's right, we can have shields now. So I think the recipe for shield is this. Uh, let's see. Well, all right. I'll have to find that out in a moment. I know I made some back during the early snapshots, so it's... I don't think you need wool anymore. I think they made the wool optional, that you add the wool afterwards. So I know originally you had... Eh, look, if I'm going to cross the water, use a boat. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Alright, now. Alright, here we go. Actually, we could do some exploring. That's actually probably a good use of our time here. Because I haven't explored all of this waterway yet. Because the idea here is that this is going to be a harbor that's going to eventually be used for my city. I'm just getting an establishment here. Saying that's a... <laughs> uh, oops. Oh, still not used to... Oh, just get off the boat. Alright, there we go. And let's see what's down this way. Is it all islands? I just park myself in an archipelago. If it is, then... Because I've always thought of Strand as being on the mainland. So... Okay, good. Now I don't have to kill the sheep to get all this nice, wonderful wool. Uh, hello? Ooh. Uh, I don't see much in the way of... Just seeing if there's any clay down here. Is that clay? No, that's sand. Yeah, no. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now, one of the things they did is they did speed up. That's right, I did run to one because the mobs were going way too slow in water. And you, we, we saw that last time, how, how the mobs are just like, just almost just standing there and not really doing anything when they're in water. So that is one thing that they did change. And perhaps I should have taken the boat with me because I've lost it. I lost my boat. Well, I'll just have to make another one at some point. Yeah. This place seems to be an archipelago of some, some sorts. Rather than any major block of land. I'm hoping that there will be at some point a mainland that I can get used to. All right, now where is? Because oh, because Pine Ridge, the main place I'll be eventually building, is going to be on the mainland. And it'll be very poor to have a series in which the title location can't be built. Right, and let's get back in here and get some rest before the zombies come out and kill me. All right, good. Now, where were we? Oh, 
list right. I was trying to Actually, maybe if I could climb this place here, it could tell me I could find out how far things extend. Uh, 11 wool. Not bad. Alright. At some point, I'll have to go around breeding sheep and stuff like that. First, I want to find a more permanent base since the lighthouse is not intended to be my main home. Alright, now let's see. Well, this looks promising. Now this is, what, what kind of biome is this by the way? And now I've always known that there's always it does say that here Savannah Plateau. All right. So we've got the beach down there, the Savannah Plateau up here, and this looks like this is the direction where the mainland would be. And we've got a river going through here. So where could Strand itself be? Because we've got the... Well, we've got a lighthouse somewhere. Let's see where I am relative to the lighthouse. Okay, there's the lighthouse. And there's a little... And we have this little... Not sure whether that's an island or a pen whether that's an island or a peninsula. We have this little bit of land here, and that might make a good location for strand. Right, because we've got that might well that's a bit narrow for a harbor, but it might be a good place for small craft. Where small craft would have a bit of a port here, larger craft maybe park out in the bay and maybe have some docking facilities over here too so maybe so this whole thing could have docking facilities all the way through and then we could have the main city over here so yeah that looks like an ideal location for strand i think and then this then could be our roadway that leads into the mainland since we'll need a good road that goes into the mainland. And if there's an island there, then we could always just build a bridge. All right, I think that is the plan. So let us shear some more sheep and take more damage from falling and eat an apple. Hello, thank you for your wool. Thank you. Alright, there's plenty of sheep all over the place. So I do have to choose a place that would be my pasture lands. So obviously we are going to need a place like that. For all sorts of facilities and the like. But it's going to take some time in order to getting the exact locations chosen for that. And for now, I don't think I need enough wool that I'm going to have to necessarily do a major breeding project. When I do, I'll know where to come and get the sheep. All right. I do want to know what I did with that book. You always, I know, I don't know if you get obsessed with finding something that you misplaced. Saying, oh no, I gotta find it. No, I can't. I can't just lose that one little boat so I can easily Make again. Alright, now. Let's see. This is... All the way up here. Anyway, I have to get used to how this land is laid out. Both from the top view and from the lower view. Alright, so this is the... 
area where I decided I was going to build this little town and then here got squid all over the place and this comes up here now this looks like we head into a desert what's a cactus doing here yeah all right well let us right Cactus. Desert. Hmm. Well, a desert port. That's going to be interesting. Well, I guess with an... We were going to expect to see some sand from the beach. I didn't expect to get one from a desert also. So this is... very interesting environment that I got here and I am going to have to then build a road through the desert in order to get all the way through the end. Alright, I think I got myself a plan now. So let us go back, but the first thing I need to do is to get a Uh, that doesn't look like it's going to be too interesting. Is get myself a nice lighthouse there, so at least I could have something built and accomplished before I really start on the port. Now the big thing is, of course, is trying to actually build ships for this thing. If anyone saw my laughable attempt at a sloop last time in the island series, I will have to get better on those things. Though with this type of terrain that we've got here, I think that sloops and similarly rigged ships are the way I'm going to be going. Let's see. Now, what do we have here? Ooh, this! Hmm, that's not like it's going to be a dangerous place to go, so therefore, I'll just have to mark a couple of torches to say that this is where we will have an exploration area soon. And well, um, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor sheep. I am going to have to do something about all that wildlife <laughs> swimming here. <laughs> oh, good grief. They're swimming all over the place. What craziness. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's head this up here. It's up here. All these tiny little islands all over the place now. Where do you draw the line between exploration and getting lost? All right, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess with me, there is no real line between the two. All right, yeah. Now, let us head back at now. I've It'd be really nice when I have the... That's one of the reasons for building a lighthouse, of course, is to make it easier for me to see where everything's located. And... My, 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 my. Well, at least if worst comes to worst, I could always make another bed and sleep there. Is I went completely the wrong way. All right, now let's see what time is it. It's getting near sunset, I think, because it's getting near the end of the episode. Near the end of the episode and sunset are two things that are probably going to come quite close to each other. But now I got a little idea of what's in the close-in world. A little bit 
better idea of where right that's that area that I marked out earlier oh, of course because I think this right here is actually that right strands this way right odd uh, oh another Plenty of places to explore here. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this is. I am lost. Well, I am going to try to find myself, everyone, and probably get myself killed this <laughs> okay well I may have to just create a, another crafting table in order to take care of that and maybe even run into a zombie or two. who knows I could maybe just kill one with my sword that's it some extra practice in my combat skills and now they got an iron sword it might actually be possible for me to win well, of course if I go against a skeleton. Okay. Whew. Oh, that hurt. Yeah. Alright. Well, this looks like we were starting to get mobs around here. And I'm getting hungry, I'm getting run into mobs, everything. Excuse me. And yeah, it is time to make a crafting table. Say, hey, yep. You got lost again. Go to sleep. And I'll see you next time. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Pine Ridge, a vanilla Minecraft survival series. That is all for today and this is Piney Newells reminding you to mine responsibly.